I know, let's connect all our devices to the internet, including our washing machines. Nothing's going to go wrong, right? Well, here we have an example from the Netherlands. Washing machines at a university campus have been hacked and dorm management refuses to pay for the costs. An unknown perpetrator hacked five washing machines on this university campus. For weeks, the hacker took control of the payment system, allowing students to do their laundry for free. So management shut the laundry room down. More than a thousand students have been unable to do their laundry there. So they were hacked in January when the built-in digital payment system of the washing machines was taken over several times during the hacks. So once again, students could do their laundry for free. So guess what they've had to do? They've had to go and use analog machines next to the campus, but they are occasionally completely out of order. One resident says that due to overload, there's often only one washing machine available for 1,250 students. The student is afraid of an itch outbreak due to the risk of lice. And as they say here, hacking into smart devices is a growing trend. Smart devices such as speakers, washing machines, or televisions are connected to a network. When using a program on your laptop, you can take control of a washing machine. Okay, this has been picked up by the register here in the UK talking about the fact that the washing machines have been hacked. As the register said, so-called smart devices or IoT devices and IoT gadgets are often targets for attackers, although usually for the purposes of building robust botnets rather than helping cash-strapped youths save a few euros on basic needs. I don't know about you, but I think it's mad that companies want to connect more and more devices to the internet and are in some cases forcing you to buy an internet connected washing machine or TV or fridge or whatever. I mean, what can go wrong? Well, here's the example once again. They can simply be hacked and used in a botnet or used for other purposes. And it gets worse when devices have cameras in them, like TVs and other devices. I think for a lot of us, we miss the days of analog devices, devices that are dumb. I would not suggest that you buy connected devices like this. Better to have analog devices, but what do you say? Would you buy a connected washing machine or tumble dryer or fridge, etc.?